Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ambassador of Japan to the Maldives, Her Excellency Keiko Yarai. Foreign Secretary, His Excellency Abdul Fur Mohammed. UN Resident Coordinator, Ms. Catherine Haswell. Representatives of UNICEF and WHO, senior officials from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Health and the Maldives Defence Force. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. Ohio gozaimasu. It gives me great pleasure to be here this morning to receive on behalf of the government of Maldives the generous donation of 112,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines by the government of Japan through the WHO COVAX facility and arranged by UNICEF. <clears throat> on behalf of President Ibrahim Ahmad Soli and the Maldivian people, I express my sincere gratitude for this very kind generosity. Today's donation of 112,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines will contribute immensely to our efforts to continue vaccinations across the country without interruption. It will support the government's goal of completing the vaccination program for the entire eligible population. This, ladies and gentlemen, would be a significant milestone in the, in the fight against COVID-19. I'm confident that these vaccines would help us reach every corner of the Maldives in pursuing a new normal for a fully vaccinated population in striving for the recovery of the economy and in ensuring that children have uninterrupted access to schools and health care. The announcement of this donation was done in July as part of the Japanese government's contribution of over 30 million doses of vaccines manufactured in Japan to be shared with other countries and the regions around the world, developing countries and countries that have inadequate access to the global vaccine supply chain will benefit greatly from this endeavor. Over the course of the past year and, and a half, we have been working closely with our partner countries, especially with Japan, to ensure that our healthcare needs and our economic recovery efforts are both adequately taken care of. During the pandemic, Japan has provided much needed medical equipment to the Maldives, including ambulances and medical supplies to supplement our COVID-19 measures. Most importantly, in September last year, Japan provided the Maldives with a 5 billion yen, US dollars, 47 million COVID-19 crisis response emergency support loan to stabilize our recovery efforts. While the Maldives has a large expatriate population, the government has taken decisive action early on to vaccinate everyone who is at risk, regardless of their nationality or status of residency in the Maldives, without discrimination. We believe this is the most appropriate way to approach vaccination, and I'm certain that we have set, a, set an example for the rest of the world to follow. Before concluding, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Ambassador Yanai and our team at the Embassy for their continuous support. I would also like to thank UNICEF Maldives for the hard work in facilitating this generous and timely donation, and especially to the UN Resident Coordinator for her excellent leadership of the UN country team. On an occasion like this, actually, I miss my dear friend and colleague, Abdul Shahid, the Foreign Minister. I wish he was here because we have been together in this fight against, uh, uh, against COVID and uh, the support that has been given by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in our efforts is really commendable. And it's all due to the good people of uh, uh, Foreign Ministry and especially the Foreign Minister. Our gratitude also goes to the team at the COVAX facility and to all our partners in making this important donation possible. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. His Excellency Mr. Ahmed Nassim, Minister of Health, Foreign Secretary Mr. Gafu, Excellencies, members of the UN organizations, distinguished guests, and members of the media. 
It is a privilege for me to join you here today in the spirit of partnership and goodwill as together we face the pandemic that has changed the world. COVID-19 us that no country can act alone in the face of a global health crisis. Each and every country is doing its utmost to tackle this adversity. But the battle has been tough and unprecedented. During the past one and a half years, the people of the Maldives have shown commendable resilience and demonstrated strong will to overcome so many hardships. I applaud the government of Maldives for taking bold measures to protect public health, and I would like to express my deepest respect to all the frontline workers. Japan has been actively contributing to the global efforts to combat COVID-19, especially for the most affected developing countries to meet their urgent needs. As the pandemic prolongs, it has become critical that international community works together to ensure equitable access to safe and effective vaccines for as many people and as quickly as possible in order to achieve universal health coverage guided by the principle of human security. My country is determined to continue to lead the international efforts with an emphasis on multilateralism. The AstraZeneca vaccine arrived today from Japan through the COVAX facility is part of Japan's last one mile support, which contributes to the delivery of vaccines down to the last person by leveraging Japan's technology and strength. This is a donation from the government of Japan and the people of Japan to Maldives with the singular objective of saving lives. This would not have been possible without the support of our trusted international partners. I would like to thank UN Resident Coordinator Catherine for your continuing support in revitalizing the socio-economic activities, UNICEF Representative Maljan for leading the lo on logistics and joining hands with Japan in building a sustainable immunization supply chain system, and the WHO represented by Dr. Padma for providing necessary guidance and trainings and facilitating multiple documentations. Since the initial outbreak of COVID-19, the embassy has been working very closely with the Ministry of Health. I thank the strong leadership of Minister Nassim and the entire team at the ministry, State Minister Dr. Shah, State Minister Deal, and Director General of Public Health, Ms. Maimuna. Thank you very much. Ministry of Foreign Affairs is our closest and vital partner. I thank State Minister Harir. Unfortunately, he wouldn't be able to with us today. And Foreign Secretary Gafo, Additional Secretary Javid, for our strong bilateral cooperation. And a special thanks go to the colleagues of Japan Desk for arranging today's ceremony. I would also like to thank Sri Lankan Airlines for delivering the vaccine safely and on track. Colleagues and friends, in this challenging time in history, our partnership is important more than ever. I assure you that Japan continues to stand in solidarity with the people of Maldives and work closely with our international partners to rebuild Maldives stronger. Thank you very much. On the agenda is the symbolic handover of the COVID-19 vaccine. May I now invite Minister Nassim and Ambassador Yanai to do the honors. 